Hey everybody, my name is Larko Doom, and welcome back. A long, uh, a very long wait, but uh, I am back with Revolution today. This is map 25 called The Prefect, and of course we'll be going for 100% kills, items and secrets, and this is played on the Doom Unity port. So, we start off on a star, if you remember as far back as map 24, which was a long time ago, which was called The Sect. This uh, follows a similar theme, um, but this one will be tackling a small fortress. So first we'll grab the shells. You can see behind us is the exit, but we need to lower all these pillars first in order to get to the switch. So first things first, we'll grab the shotgun on the bridge. We'll ignore all the revenants on the pillars and of course all the, uh, the snipe enemies and we'll make our way to the back of the fortress. Grab the chain gun and take out the imps in one of the side rooms because um, that is quite hectic out there we can grab the chainsaw from the pedestal and there is a non-secret closet right here with a backpack and some armor which is nice to have in this map so we'll make our way over to the other side room to grab a rocket launcher and you can see this one is open this closet with some ammo and we can use a rocket launcher to take care of the arachnotron Alright, and then we can ascend the steps, taking care of the imps in a couple more side rooms in advance through the bars. We see the SSG in there. And the chain gunners, yeah, this is a, uh, a very um, a, a, a symmetrical map, that's, what, that's the word I was trying to think of. Yeah, we'll grab the SSG now. Yeah, this map is very symmetrical, very uh, nicely designed. So if you stand on where the chain gunners are, that will op open the main door, but <laughs> you could open it anyway, I did not know that. But there's a couple chain gunners and a mancubus inside. So I guess this is just a trap if you stand on where the uh, those dead chain gunners are. That'll open the door in advance. And yeah, in here is the red key on a nice looking throne with an evil cross behind it. We grab that, the two side uh, doors will open, and there's a couple spectres on either side. We'll take care of them, and uh, we want to tackle the left side first. It is symmetrical; you can go either way, but we'll do this one first. And uh, yeah, you can't open these uh, doors; only the ones that are lit up you can open. So in here is a Hell Knight in a bedroom. It's a very cool, uh, cool-looking bed here, and there's a few enemies on this side. And uh, we can use the rock launcher and SSG to take care of the revenant from here instead. And this will be our first switch. Now all four of these platforms are going to be the same with a revenant pillar. And we need to find four of these switches to uh, take care of the corresponding uh, exit pillars. In order to uh, leave this map of course. So yeah, pretty cool bed here. In here we have a sacrificial bathtub. Spectre is uh, concocting some something nasty here. We got the uh, the Doom guy hanging from the ceiling, as usual in the Revolution. And this one is his blood getting drained into the bathtub. So I guess the Spectre will be soaking in that soon. Well, he's not now; he's dead. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we can advance here. We got a little library here. A few more Spectres and another switch out here. This one's a little bit more deadly with the revenant placement. There we go. We'll flip that switch. And that is the two switches on the left side done. So we can progress to the right side using these red doors as shortcuts. And uh, yeah we'll go through this door first. Another bedroom with a hell knife. And yeah more evil uh, window placement. The enemies can snipe at you if you're not careful. Alright, this is the third switch. So we've got one more switch to go. Another bathtub in here. The spectre won't be uh, uh, <laughs> bathing himself in blood. I guess that's the deluxe, the private suite. This is just a regular bathtub, but it does have a secret in. A, few, a couple armor bonuses which are cleverly hidden in the water as they are blue in this wad. 
So that's our first secret of two. Our second secret is this dark soul sphere in here. Now, to lower th you don't want to jump in. This is damage and floor. You will damage yourself and most likely die. What you want to do is come over to the first switch. Right here, the first door. Into the bedroom. Lower that. And then head back and that will lower the, uh, the supercharge. And then you can just hop back and raise up back to the uh, the hallway without taking any damage. So we got our fourth switch out here. I didn't want to be locked out, but that's okay. The Revenant doesn't want to fire at me, which is nice. And here is our fourth switch. Ooh, look at those giblets crushed in the door. Very satisfying. Um, yeah, so that's all four doors. Or all four switches, sorry. The one thing we have to do before we uh, exit is, as you may have heard, there are a couple spectres in the moat. Should be about three or so. So we just want to kill them. These will be our final enemies. Well, not final, because there is a few lost souls, and they will raise with the pillars as well. But these don't count officially towards the kill count. So you can run past these if you want, but I like killing things and do them, so I'm going to get rid of them. This should be our final spectre. So that should be all the kills, items, and secrets in this map, which is the case. So yeah, one last look at this pretty cool uh, mini fortress. I mean, I don't want to say it's not special in terms of map design, because that would be, <laughs> would be slightly rude, but I think even a map maker himself would think this is sort of a throwaway sort of a, a map in terms of the... Uh, I mean, the symmetrical design is cool, but in terms of the gameplay, it's fairly uh, linear and quite easy to complete. But that is the case with Revolution most of the time. So we are free to uh, exit right here, the skull switch. That was the Prefect, uh, a nice follow-up to the Sect. I did like the Sect a bit better. Um, it wasn't symmetrical for a start, which I don't mind symmetrical, especially if it's like a large map, but something as short as this uh, can be a little on the tedious side. But I think the design of the, uh, the Fortress was pretty cool. But yeah, it, overall I think uh, the Sect was a better map for the gameplay. But uh, I think this had a pretty cool little uh, midi to go along with it, which did help. And uh, yeah, so it wasn't too tough, but we do have a tougher map for map 26, that's for sure, for uh, for the next for the next one. And this will be Thragmo Basidium. <laughs> pretty long word. I'll have to uh, look up what that means for the for this walkthrough. But uh, yeah, this will be for next time. A nice little uh, temple map. We're back into sort of temple-esque, I guess. But um, but yeah, thank you guys for uh, waiting for so long. I mean, I guess you haven't been waiting. You just probably just I don't know. If you're back and you're enjoying these walkthroughs, then I'm glad to hear. And I do apologise um, for the long wait. But you know, that's that's life sometimes. I guess it's a uh, it can be a struggle to do videos like these when. For example, you've got to be up early or whatever, so I don't know. I'll uh, I'll try and make these as as best I can. Especially with Back to Saturn X, these can be quite fairly long videos. And doing saveless runs, as you can imagine, isn't fun. Because once you die, you have to start again. The practice, the whole commentary and everything. So, um, But yeah, it's fun. This is a pretty cool MIDI as well. Revolution does have some pretty cool midis to go with it um but yeah so thragmo basidium next time um i hope you all take care and i'll see you in the next one